One of the bigger hits last year was Wednesday. That show was a massive hit for Netflix. Big hit. One of the biggest shows watched last year. And it also had a moment where it touched culture. That dance that she did, this is the screenshot of it right here. Uh, That dance was replicated on TikTok and YouTube by a lot of people. It was viral sensation. Usually when something like that happens, it makes the show special. I would imagine that as long as they keep making good stuff, like we got to have, you know, as long as, basically I'm saying as long as it doesn't go extremely woke, it'll probably be a huge hit. Netflix is trying to get away from stuff like that as well. So I think, I think the show, it, it probably will dance with it a little bit, but I don't think it's going to go overboard with it. Because you got to remember a lot of woke white women watch TV too. And they like that shit. So I I would imagine they want to keep them happy and regular people. So they'll probably tease it a little bit, but I don't think the show will go fully woke because they don't want to bomb it. Netflix has already gone fully woke and it crashed their stocks. Now they've recently started to move back from that a little bit and it's bounced them back. I talked about that in my video the other day in case you missed it. But yeah, Netflix is is kind of rebounded a little bit. And that's because they're backing content that isn't shit. So this show's doing very well. However, this also puts a big target on Jenna Ortega, who is a huge star now. She was just in Scream 6. I didn't watch it. I heard it was okay. If you've seen it, let me know in the comments. But she recently went on a podcast and said something about how the writers basically wrote some dumb, goofy shit she didn't like, and she fixed it. And now, because of that, because she publicly shit on the writers, she's getting labeled as toxic. The stuff that she did for this show reminds me a lot of Henry Cavill in some ways because it seems like she cares about the character, and now that's being labeled toxic because how dare she shit on those fragile writers. And make no mistake, they are fragile, goofy people. Modern uh, Hollywood writers have proven to be the most untalented people in the industry so far. It's like they give directors a... uh, an outline basically and for a show to be good they need actually talented people to go and fix something that's for the one or two good shows that we even get but she made some changes and goofed on some of the goofy shit she said they did in a podcast and now everyone's gunning for it. just look at these massive articles like look at this there's this one this one this one this one and then this one this one's the the funniest one. Wednesday star Jenna Ortega. Rude comments should kill her career, but they won't. Yeah, they won't because she's a beautiful young woman. She's got plenty of time left in her career. <laughs> like she's probably the hottest woman in Hollywood right now, box office wise, and to be honest, looks wise. It's not that they're like promoting a lot of like goofy women lately. There's this weird thing where like we're gonna have the every the everyday woman. And you wonder why the box office for a lot of movies is shit. Now, what got her in trouble, and he had to walk it back, was uh, he was the producer for Daredevil. This guy uh, was mad about what she had said, and what she had said was that basically uh, there were some things going on with the script. She didn't like it. She became very protective of the character. Like, why is Wednesday in a love triangle? She thought that was stupid. I also think that that's stupid. She wouldn't say this. They had her like geeking out over some dress. She said, this isn't something once they would do. And she had to sit down. Writers would be like, what happened to our scene? What happened to our scene? Which makes no sense. Like she also said, oh, here it is. The actress who played Ellie on the hit psychological drama, you shared that she put her foot down on set of Wednesday to the point of being unprofessional for the sake of her Adams Family character, of whom she was very protective. She also said that her career being, that her character being in a love triangle had made no sense, and she repeatedly told writers no to plot points, even at times changing lines herself in the script. 
However, Wednesday was a massive success for Netflix, despite her behavior as it ranked highest on the charts, which is true. Massive hit show. Big show. Massive hit. Now you've got all these articles saying that she's entitled and toxic. Spartacus producers uh, was after her and didn't want to work with her, which he walked back, by the way, because she has a legion, an army of fans. But now, of course, you've got all these Hollywood articles coming out blasting her, saying that it should kill her career, that she's a diva. And it's like, I don't know about that. I think she just wants a good product, which I uh, actually appreciate. A lot of these writers are just nasty, ugly people, and they think they're the best and the greatest gift to Hollywood, and they're not. So, like, her checking them and saying, listen, uh, your idea sucks, I think is good because this is the problem with Hollywood. A lot of people are so sensitive and weak that when you criticize them, they cry and they actually think you're trying to kill them. And that's not the case. Uh, (laughs) They think you're putting their jobs and lives in danger. Like these people are so weak and it's like, listen, she's criticizing their stuff and trying to make it better. So, you know, maybe she, obviously it looked like she knew what she was doing because the show is a massive hit. So it's just funny to see them gun for her over this. And there's been a lot. I've been following this for a couple of days, and I'm I'm amazed by the amount of heat that's being brought her way because she wanted to make some changes, and she criticized, as they say here in quotes on the one, uh, publicly shitting on the writers. (laughs) Listen, look at The Witcher. You think those writers are good? Some of these writers need a check because, look, Most of them are toxic, and most of them are shitty. How much bad stuff has come out of Hollywood over the past couple of years? They're bringing in these losers, like that Jeff Loveness guy who wrote Ant-Man 3. You think that guy wrote a good film? That guy could have used a couple of people to tell him he stinks. Maybe maybe it would have made his movie better. And then look how he acted. When bad reviews came out, it's not, it's not me, it's them. Seriously, guy did act that way. I did a video on it. Go watch it. Trying to say, oh, it's not him. You know, it's not, it couldn't be him. Dude wrote for Jimmy Kimmel. All of a sudden he's writing Ant-Man movies. Where do these people come from? I swear, I think they're writing all their shit with that uh, AI chat thing. That's what it seems like lately. So, you know. Good for her. She reminds me of Henry Cavill with this. Unfortunately, the difference between her and Henry Cavill is, well, she gets a lot of work and Henry Cavill doesn't, but uh, I haven't seen her do anything stupid. So, you know, I don't think there's anything wrong with someone being protective of their character, especially if she wants to keep working. Like she's like, yeah, I want a season two. I want a season three. Don't put your stupid shit in it. So good for her. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, she won't be canceled, but it's just funny to see all these articles come up because she dunked on awful writers. That's it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and Locals, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my Locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube... You can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.